using batch tools is a great way to uh, run lots of different scenarios, lots of different analysis um, in one go incredibly easily. And you can run any of the travel time tools as a batch tool, um, but I'm just going to show you how to do this for time map. So creating different isochrones for different parameters. So we open up our time map simple tool and we click on run as batch process. So we can click this little um, plus sign here to add um, new sets of parameters. So each of these rows will be a separate combination of parameters. We want to select uh, the layer to run this on. So here we're just going to select a layer with one with one point in. And if we go into autofill, we can fill that down. So this is the same layer or same point that we're going to run all of these different scenarios around. We can leave it all as departing. We want to do, say, driving. Again, let's autofill this down so they're all driving. We'll leave uh, departure and arrival time the same, the time zone the same, but we want to create um, sort of bands of, of travel times here. So if we do 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, 60 and 75. We want to run these normal um, just so we get one isochrone, even though there's only one point. We get one isochrone around around the point. And we just have to select where these um, layers are going to be saved to. So this is our 15 minutes. You can again autofill these. Um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to copy these in just so I can update these. So I can identify them more easily in the uh, output. 160, this one's at 75. So now we've configured the tool with our different uh, parameters. Just a tip, if you click this load layers on completion, it means that once the tool is run, it will actually load these layers as well, rather than just saving them and then you having to import them. We hit run. This will then run those five different scenarios and create five new layers. And here we have our five layers. We have our 15 minute driving time, our 30 minute driving time, 45, 60 and 75. And here's the location they ran around. So we could do this um, for routes or time filter. Um, you could change, rather than changing the travel time, you could say, I want um, different methods of transport. So leave the travel time the same, but say one for public transport, one for driving, one for walking, and one for cycling, for example. Um, so yeah, or you could change all of the different parameters and just set up as many different combinations as you want. Uh, but yeah, running the batch tools is a great way to, to speed up running lots of different scenarios.